Ito ang Broad Streamcast Communicators, ang naiba at kakaibang plataforma sa digital broadcast. Mula Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao hanggang sa iba't ibang dako ng mundo. Broad Streamcast Communicators, ang sandiga ng sambayanan mula sa walang labis at walang kulang na pagbabalita, paglilingkod, maglalahad ng mga mapagbuong komentaryo at usaping pambayan para sa kapakanan ng karamihan. Broad Streamcast Communicators, tuwirang maglilingkod ngayon hanggang sa susunod na henerasyon. Buhay online, chikahan at kalamang pangkabuhayan. Ating tunghayan, pakinggan at tuklasin ang mga pangyayari at kaganapan sa mundo ng online. Buhay online, chikahan at kaalamang pangkabuhayan. Alamin ang pinakalatest trends mula sa trabaho at kung hanggang saan na ang narating ng teknolohiyang ito. At ngayon, narito na ang ating host, ang ating Techie Mami, si J.C. Bautista. Hello, good morning. Happy rainy Wednesday po sa lahat. Very good. Happy, happy Wednesday. It's August 31. It's the last day of August po. Wala uh, talaga, burn na. Tomorrow is already burn month, okay? Signaling, di ba? Ayan na, malapit ng Pasko. Ano ba yan? The year is again reaching an end. That's the third year of this pandemic, di ba? Grabe, parang feeling, parang kaka-Chinese New Year pa lang ulit. Tapos wala na. Oh, September na agad, right? So welcome to people to the show. Welcome to online po on a Wednesday, on a rainy Wednesday. At ito po, ako po ay nang i-enjoy itong pagkumain ng, ma, ng mainit na mainit na mami. Tara, inggitin ko kayo, right? Kasi ah, nag-order ako sa Food Panda sa Lelot Express dito sa Pampanga po. Halos 24 hours itong bukas na napakasarap po ng Lelot po means um what do you call this? Aruscaldo or goto. Okay. Bulugaw in Kapampangat. And they they serve the best uh, uh, Lugaw overload. Ang tinatawag na Lelot overload which has a lot. Ang daming laman po nung Lugaw na yun. It has um, Lechon Kawali in it. It has um, Chicharong Balaklak in it. It has egg. It has um, uh, a lot of things in it. Pero today, ito ngayon po, in order ko po ay mami kasi muulan. Masarap si Gupi ng sabaw. Oops. Uninggit ko kayo. Anyway. So, ano po, nakahapon po medyo naalarm ako na sa balita that I got because it happened yesterday po in Manila po sa Ortigas. I know that's so very so well. Sa Richmond Hotel, meron pong babaeng, my God, it was caught on video, hindi ko ma-play ngayon and I don't wanna be playing that talaga kasi it was horrifying to see yung gabi ng hotel may nakapag video po yung, yung babae po was trying to commit suicide may nakaharap siya bumaba siya doon but she was trying I don't know siguro for a, for a while there she was thinking nag second ano siya nag dalawang isip uh, because she was trying to get up she was trying to get up from the window 14th floor po yon ng Richmond Hotel yung babae po. Tapos kitang-kita yung nag-video na live nung bumitiw siya at nahulog. And horrified yung mga tao nanonood. And she fell. Pero nabuffer po yung hulog niya ng mga cable wires for some reason or, or something. But according to the news today, okay, this woman po survived that four, 14th floor fall. Uh, at, at sa news po kasi kahapon, no, yung family member po niya pala, tumawag sa Richmond Hotel, and told them about this impending suicide. Pero nung nakapasok po sa kwarto yung mga na too late, nakatalon na po siya or nahulog na siya. Uh, pero yun po, nabuhay po siya. As of now, to date, she's alive. I don't know lang now, current time, no? Pero buhay po yung babaeng yun na, na, na 
tumalon no sa 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 Pasig Hotel which is Richmond Hotel okay a young woman survived and sustained only minor injuries okay it is a miracle siguro po sign to ni Lord sa kanya na kailangan niyang uh, pang mabuhay no she sustained minor injuries after falling from a win hotel window of the Richmond Hotel okay ah, ito pala pwede pong pakita sa inyo ah yung picture ah hold on a second please bear with me ito po yun nakakakilabot kasi po yung panood niyo yung video it's talagang hair racing tsaka narinig ko po yung nagbibideo na pamura talaga siya ng tumalon dante sa halahan ay yung nagbibideo okay okay sandali lang po ayan po okay I'll just get it, okay, just to read. Alam ko, hindi naman po itong ganyang tingnan kung kumakain kayo. Pero hindi naman ito picture nung ano, na nahulog siya. Pero, I mean, really, miraculously, okay, the news says that she, oh, ayan po, ayan po, ayan po yun, that she sustained minor injuries from this fall. Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, na incident, ah, itong video pala na to, napaod ko kahapon, hindi pala to August 30 nangyari. The incident happened, pero kahapon lang siya nag-viral. Matagal na pala to. The incident happened on August 19. But the video of the woman hanging on a window of a high-rise building just recently went viral. It was, it just went viral yesterday. Yan po, it, it just went viral yesterday. Pasensya na po nga kasi kailangan ko uminom ng gamot at hindi po ako nakakain ng breakfast. Pasensya. Hmm. Tapos po yan tumalon. The, the woman can be seen letting go and falling on the ground. Okay? After a few minutes. Kasi ito po yung eksena ng video na, na, na nagkalat kahapon. Kahapon lang po na ano yung video na yan. In an official statement released on Tuesday, kahapon po, the Richmond Hotel Ortigas explained that the woman forcibly manipulated the safety lock of the glass windows. Oh, na nabuksan niya kasi di ba nakalak yung hotel window. She proceeded to allow herself to fall from the window. The guest sustained minor injuries, but was immediately discharged from the hospital hours after the incident. Oh my God! Ano ba yun? So, miracle, di ba? Ang taas, taas. Uh, but anyway, so, and, and, and that brings to mind po, even kahapon po yung news, yung uh, news about this, the Korean, this Korean telenovela star, 27 years old, again, took her life po. Uh, hindi ko naman ano yung picture, pero another one, another Korean young star uh, took her life po yesterday, 27 years old. She was, is, nag-appear siya sa mga teleserye. And uh, ang nakakaano doon, nag-iwan siya ng suicide note na binasa ng kapatid niya, yung kuya niya, tsaka with the family. It was very sad. I mean, we will double and talk about that uh, another time tungkol po sa mga suicide at, at yung mga mindset po ng mga kabataan ngayon. Uh, and hindi ba, mas stressful ba ang ating uh, society now at, at at ang daming mga suicidal, ang daming mga depression, ang daming mga mental problems arising na nung araw, unheard of. Diba? Of course, suicides happen, pero parang right now at, a, at an increasing rate. At an increasingly alarming rate. Diba? Parang anong nangyayari, ba't ganun, right? So, we will deal with uh, talking about that in another time, okay? Okay, tanggalin na natin ito dahil Matagal na pala yung news na yun. Kahapon lang nag-viral yung video na yan. But anyway, so let's talk about, uh, of course, the order, first order of the day is the current technological breakthroughs or events happening here and abroad. 
Pero kasi natin yan by say but talking about the COVID situation here in the Philippines, okay? Uh, the, the, part, the Department of Health or DOH reported 1,672 new COVID-19 cases on Tuesday, August 30, okay? The number of active COVID-19 cases went down to 26,168. In recent days, the tally of active cases was more than 30,000. Good news, diba? Good news, okay? Metro Manila still recorded the most number of new cases in the past 14 days at 11,639. It was also fo it was followed by Calabarzon with 5,699, Central Luzon with 3,651, Western Visayas with 1,950, 1, and Cagayan Valley with 1,550. The fresh cases pushed the overall tally of confirmed infections to 3 million. 878.734. Diba sa sinabi natin kahapon, nagda-down spiral na po ang infection rate sa 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 Pilipinas o uh, as, a, as a whole, okay? At syempre, ang gusto natin makita, sabi daw, by the end of October, bababa pa, mga bababa. Sana naman, okay? The country's total number of recoveries was at 3,790,793. On the other hand, the death toll reached 61,700. 73. Okay. Alright. Uh, on another note naman po, you know, uh, because from one virus to another, okay, asensya na, excuse me, Lalot Express, salamat. Saluhan niyo po ako no, sa aking mind. Pasensya na kasi I have to take medicine. Dito na nga ako susubo. Ako kahit. Okay, so I'd like to welcome my friends that are watching. Hindi ko po makuha yung ano sa phone ko eh. Hindi ko makita. Ano ba yan? Hold on a second, right? I'd like to welcome our friends who are watching today. Welcome po sa Buhay Online. Hindi ko nakikita yung mga pangalan, just a number of people. So, from another virus to another po, yung monkeypox, no? Na mas nakaka parang nakakatakot. Hindi ko naman sinasabing I'd rather have monkeypox than, <laughs> than ano, no? The, than uh, coronavirus, no? You wouldn't want any of the, any of the two. Pero, hindi ko sabihin, the first death uh, ng monkeypox po was uh, nabalitaan po a first death link to monkeypox reported in the US okay as of today all right uh, meron na po mga monkeypox vaccines na na, na, na develop eh, okay uh, in a news from Washington po sa United States Texas authorities on Tuesday confirmed the first US death link to monkeypox okay Pero po, they're still trying to determine uh, what role the disease played and the demise of the severely immunocompromised patient. Ayun naman pala kasi, may pre-exist yung immunocompromised po itong pasyenteng namatay na ito. So far, there have not been any other reports of monkeypox patient deaths in the United States during the recent outbreak and few who have died worldwide. Okay? The case is under investigation to determine what role monkeypox played in the death. Ito mong sinabi ng Texas Health Authorities. They specified the patient was an adult whose immune system was severely weakened. Ayan nga po, pag ang immunities nyo po ay, ay maba, mababa, ayan nga. Yan mas mas susceptible kayo sa mga virus, okay? I think that additional investigation is needed to know what role monkeypox may or may not have played in their death, okay? It's important to emphasize that deaths due to monkeypox, while possible, remain very rare. She said nothing na, sabi na that only a handful of people had died from among more than 40,000 cases recorded in the current outbreak. So far, United States has seen 18,100 cases of the monkeypox. The number of new infections appears to have recently slowed lately, slowed down according to the data from health authorities. The epidemic primarily affects gay and bisexual men and most transmissions take place during sexual intercourse. Ayun po. Ito pong monkeypox, no? 
ay uh, skin to skin contacts or human to human contacts po hindi siya airborne okay para nga siya yung HIV na it's a parang sexually transmitted disease according to a CDC study last week since hearing about the outbreak about half of men who have sex with other men have reduced the number of partners they have the number of one night stands o yung mga dating apps na yan na seeking sex yung mga sex dating na yan okay the United States has focused its response to the epidemic on distributing the vaccines okay the government has announced that doses will be made available specifically at major LGBTQ events including Atlanta's Black Pride two events in Oakland, California and the Southern Decadence Festival in New Orleans this weekend ano yan yan na naman nagkakatin na naman ako ng Facebook na, ang, ang weird talaga kasi every time po nagbabroadcast ako sa umaga pag nagsasalita na ako nangangati yung face ko <laughs> hindi ko alam kung bakit pero kasi pag nag-work naman ako and I'm teaching hindi naman ganun Anyway, U.S. health authorities have also launched an initiative to target smaller events, in particular, to reach out more to minorities. Talaga, awareness po ang importante dito para wag kumalat, no? Uh, kaya, ayan po ang latest tungkol sa monkeypox. So, hindi po siya airborne, alright? Uh, kaya, tsaka makikita yun po yung manifestation sa mga sa rashes, tsaka yung para siyang Uh, chicken pox na ewan na talagang bad yung itsura. So, but we still have to be careful, okay? Alright. Uh, uh, tungkol naman po sa, sa pagtatrabaho, right? And because of the pandemic situation, yung mga work ethics, mga work procedures, alam po natin na now, A lot of companies are opting for hybrid working, no? which is a combination of working from home and working in the office. Pero sa China po, yung mga andami po mga, kamustahin po natin yung uh, sa China, yung job uh, situation po sa China. Um, the China's jobless youth okay, are left in the lurch. Ang ibig sabihin nun, sa Beijing po, China's slowing economy has left millions of young people na walang trabaho and competing for an ever-slimming raft of job openings and facing an increasingly uncertain future. Official data released last month showed one, of five, one, in five, one out of five young people in Chinese cities were out of work in July, more than three times the national average and the highest recorded since January 2018, okay? Nearly 11 million graduates entering uh, entered China's bleak job market this summer, with the econ economy growing at 0.4% in the second quarter, the weakest in two years, okay? Si Zhao Zuting, uh, isang bata, uh, 22 years old, uh, told AFP companies were reluctant to hire as the economy cools, and that experienced workers were now jostling for entry-level jobs, elbowing out green hands such as her. So yung pong iksabihin nun, yung mga datihan, dahit, dat, datihan ng trabahador na bumalik sa workplace uh, na, na wala ng trabaho, okay na lang sa kanila rin na mag-entry level ulit. Parang nag-downgrade sila. Kaya yung mga new fresh graduates po, mas naging konti yung kanilang job openings dito sa China. Since graduating in July, sinabi ni Zhao Zuting, she submitted her CV to dozens of companies. Only a handful called her back for an interview only to turn her down saying she lacked experience, okay? Armed with a degree in English, Zhao thought she could earn a living as a tutor until she found full-time work. As opposed to Japan po, sa Japan po, ang hiring doon, ibang klase, pati yung pag-aaral eh. Yung mga uh, university graduates, nag apply na po sila ng trabaho before graduation and most of them already have job offers from companies even before graduation. As sa Japan po, hindi po nagmamatter yung major niya sa inaral niya sa college. Eh. Ang, mga, ang mga companies po ng corporation hire people based on their university. Kaya po yung mga Japanese learners, pag uh, senior or, or junior high, high school students na sila, nagre-review sila para nang mabuti nag-aaral para makapasa sa mga top universities because yung hiring po doon, ang hinahire nila yung mga nanggagaling sa mga na university, na university sa Japan. 
at hindi na po nagmamatter masyado yung major unless you're a doctor, you took medicine, you doctor, a lawyer, lawyer. Most of them take, hindi ko nga alam yung mga course na yun, parang they never even use it for their jobs because the companies hire them with no experience. Ang ano doon, at saka yung startup na ng sweldo mababa kasi titrain pa sila ng company to do whatever it is. They don't even know what position or what ang ina-applyan nila eh, actually. Parang generic. Kasi daw sa Japan, gusto nila yung mga companies, natuturoan nila para maging makagawa ng diverse jobs. Pero yun nga, wala specialization. Kaya hindi sila competitive mag-apply ng trabaho sa ibang countries eh, pag hindi specialized yung course nila. Right? So, ito po, itong sa China, yan ang nangyari. May, itong si Zhao, may degree in English and she wanted to be a tutor until she found full-time work. But, Because of recent crackdowns on the tech and education sectors, di ba, bawal, which usually absorb fresh talent, the mga drugs na ito nag-evaporate, saka yung English learning, di ba, binawal sa China, pag nilipalit nila sa Amerika, pati yung mga own schools nila that they put up. Most of the, the online ESL schools who are established by Chinese, by the Chinese, right, and Koreans. Tapos ayun, sinara, mas uh, bawal na yung mga magtrabaho doon ng personal tutor ng English. Okay, so analysts blame a slowing economy crippled by COVID lockdowns as well as the large cohort entering the labor force during the graduating season in July and August dahil ito sa mga, ito ang naging problema ng mga nagharap ng trabaho sa China. Official data does not track unemployment among rural youth and the real jobless population could be more than double the official number. Ha? Pati mga blue-collar jobs to. Blue-collar workers din po are struggling to find work as growth in the manufacturing and construction section schools. Okay? The reality is more serious than what the data shows. Uh, if the problem continues without remedy, it will easily spread social disorders. Okay? So, ayan po ang problema sa China. Graduates who managed to find work this year were offered salaries that were on average 12% less than the usual offer nila from last year. Data from that, an online recruitment, ito pong sinabi ng isang online, re online recruitment firm. And while some job seekers were lowering their ambitions, others were biding their time pursuing, ayun na nga, nag-aral na lang sila ulit. Yung mga nakaka-afford, they, they opted to um, increase their skills no, by studying. Okay? <clears throat> so, yan po. Yan po ang nangyari po sa China. No, regarding yung mga youth na maraming jobless. Tumaas po yung rate ng joblessness, okay? Uh, Alright, so yan po, no? Yan po ang tungkol sa so we, we talked about monkeypox and then we talked about the joblessness dun po sa China Now we go to uh, our something breakthroughs in technology. All right. Uh, Siempre po no, tung si Elon Musk very very controversial and of course very very popular. The richest man in the world, ikanga ang tawag nila kay Elon Musk. Now he's going to he's announced he announced at the Tesla bot okay the Tesla bot is going to be launched on A1 day which is uh, artificial intelligence day 2022 SpaceX CEO Elon Musk shared an update about Tesla bot Optimus ito po yung Optimus he announced that his company's Android would de would debut on AI day September 30 2022 this year okay Tesla bots are initially positioned to replace people, oh my gosh, in repetitive, boring, and dangerous tasks. Mawawala ng trabaho po. Ito yung mga tinatawag naming busy work. Yun nga, yung pag, pag, pagsusulot ng mga sulat sa envelope or bills, di ba? Ganyan. Yung AI na ngayon ang gagawa nun. Yung mga parang, sorry Lord, hindi masama yung mindless work, pero repetitive, boring tasks. But the vision is for, is for them to serve millions of households such as cooking, diba? mowing lawns, and caring for the elderly. Ay, ibang klase na to. Hindi na to mindless, boring things, okay? The EV firm owner said that the robot would have human-like body parts. Papakita ko nga yung Tesla bot, okay? Sige. Hold on. Please bear with me. I will show you the Tesla bot. Alright. 
Ano ba yan talaga? Ang kati-kati ng face ko. Sorry. Pasensya na po. Alright. Ayan. Let us... I'm gonna show you the test labot. Dali lang. Alright, let's grab it. Sandali lang po. Okay, this is the Tesla bot that's being la launched on September 20 ni Elon Musk. Okay? Uh, there. There you go. Ayan. Ay, napakasandali. Alright, ayan po, ayan. Ayan ang Tesla bot, oh. Okay? So, ang, ang ano pala nito, ang, ang gamit po nitong Tesla bot is to, to help people yan to do mga pati household chores. As in talagang robot na sa pelikula lang natin nakikita. So, to do household chores such as cooking, mowing lawn, and care, even caring for the elderly. Oh my gosh. Okay? So, this bot this robot would have human-like body parts. It, it, uh, also, it would have a similar weight, height, and movement as a regular person. Oh my goodness. Ayan, nakikita niyo. Oh. Kunyari, ang height niya, 5'9". Ayan. Ayan. Oh. Diba? Kita niyo yan? Sabi niya na, built by humans for humans, okay? Friendly daw, eliminates dangerous, repetitive, boring tasks. Kunyari, may height siya, height, may weight pa. Oh. May speed pa. Ayan, may paglalakad. Five miles per hour? I'm extending left. Kasi yan po ang bot. Ayan po ang Tesla bot. Uy, sorry. Uh, ano naman yan? Okay. The Tesla bot would weigh 125 pounds and stand 5 feet and 8 inches tall. Ang tangkad! Oh my God, kakatakot. Magtatower siya over kung sa, sa Asian countries. Alala. Anyway, uh, the Tesla bot, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I'll just drink water. <coughs> Sino may nakalala? Ang sakit. <coughs> the Tesla bot would weigh 125 pounds. <coughs> Alright. Stand 5 feet and 8 inches tall. <coughs> Kasi tapos pa, it would pick up and carry objects and walk in small steps. Oh my. The android would be able to deadlift 150 pounds, meaning it could carry that weight off the ground. Nakakadalilin niyo po android, mga isipin ng mga tao. Because for the past years, ang android po sa mga tao ay yung android phone or, or apple phone. Ang android po kasi yan. Sabihin niyan robot. Oh, ayan ang talagang meaning ng Android. <clears throat> okay. Ang talagang meaning ng Android po. <clears throat> ay, ano. Uh, ay, yan, robot. Kaya Android ang tinatawag dito. It's, it's a robot with a human appearance, okay? An Android is a robot with a human appearance, pero... Ito pa, it also means an open, 
open source open operating system for smartphones and tablet computers. Pero originally po, napas na po ang Android, ibig sabihin yan, robot. Okay? So, yan po. Yan po yung, yung Happy Wednesday, Angelica! Hello! I know. Dito rin. My God. Sa Pampanga, ang lakas ng ulan. Ang lakas lakas. So, uh, meron ako dapat appointment today, but uh, <clears throat> but uh, mamove ko na kasi ang lakas ng ulan. So, okay. Going back to what I was saying, no? Yan po ang Tesla bot. Alright? Nakita ko naman yung face ko. Yan ang Tesla bot na in the launch by September 20. Okay? So, the Android would be able to deadlift 150 pounds. Oh my God. Excuse me. Makakabuhat ng 150 pounds, meaning it could carry that weight off the ground, from the ground. Huh? Its face will have a screen as an interactive interface for communicating with people. Scary. Moreover, Tesla's full self-driving computer will power the Android. It would also use the same interface found in current Tesla models. Musk said he intended the humanoid design so that the Tesla bot would adapt to human society. Scary, you know, with Elon Musk uh, flying people to the moon and then now robots and, and Max, uh, Mark Zuckerberg making Facebook uh, a 3D universe, the metaverse. Ano ba to? Virtual reality na yung bu bu buhay natin, ha? It would also use the same interface found in other Tesla models, okay? So, in explaining Elon Musk, if we want a robot to adapt to its environment and be able to do what humans do, it has to be roughly the same size, shape, and capabilities as a human. Di ba ganun naman ang premise ng robot ever since, the memor in, since time immemorial? Robots are supposed to be make, uh, mechanical people, Pero ngayon, it's becoming, it's becoming a reality, right? He, no araw naman kasi may robots na, no? pero hindi ganyan ka, ka ano, interactive at hindi ganyan ka uh, yung, yung itsura, di ba? I mean, my, my son, my son had a, a, a robot that was doing 36 movements, no? Uh, ganyan, pero ito eh, mas ano na talaga, mas pulido na to, taong ng mga moves, mga galaw nito. <clears throat> He confirmed that he would focus on enhancing the Tesla bot's intelligence and solving the problem of large-scale production. As a result, Musk hopes the robot's usefulness will improve as production scales up and costs go down. Okay? Musk saw a future where his home robots would be cheaper than cars. <clears throat> he stated, perhaps in less than a decade, people will be able to buy a robot for their parents as a birthday gift. Oh my God. Para ka na nagregala ng cellphone, right? Ayan. He first announced the Tesla bot on last year's AI Day and shared a few renderings. How many people were worried that it, it resembled the, the NS5 robots from the 2004 sci-fi film iRobot? Mas allayed fears by saying it's intended to be friendly, of course. Kasi yung iRobot, di ba? Yun yung robots gone bad. <clears throat> Pinanood ko yun ng beses eh. Ganda yung movie na yun. Na yung mga robots nag-malfunction, naging nang ninaaway na nila yung tao. So sabi ni Mas, they're intended to be friendly. He had added that people could out outrun and outpower the Optimus if they wanted. Elon Musk said in A1 Day 2021, we should be worried about AI. What we're trying to do here at Tesla is to make useful AI that people love and that it is, and, and that it, it is good, okay? Other companies have been using robots for various tasks. Nowadays, Amazon and Walmart use Androids, and the former is currently testing its palm scanner for store checkout. All right? Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. Tapos naman, yan, from one ano, from one giant to another, ito namang Facebook, okay? Diba? May mga lawsuit sila mukhang pinakaharap. Now, Meta's Facebook, okay, uh, <clears throat> decided to settle its issue, okay? Nangyari dito. Yung internet po ay paano-ano. Alright. Meta's Facebook agrees to settle data privacy lawsuit against them, okay? Ayan po yung dahil si Francine Kogan, yung whistleblower, nag-draw ng attention to Facebook po. Na, ayan. Meta Platform Inc.'s Facebook has in principle agreed 
to settle a lawsuit in the San Francisco federal court seeking damages for letting third parties, including Cambridge Analytica, access the private data of users. Okay, the financial terms were not disclosed uh, last Friday, but uh, <clears throat> asked the judge to put the class action on hold for 60 days until the lawyers for both plaintiffs and Facebook finalize a written settlement. Okay, the four-year-old lawsuit alleged that Facebook violated consumer privacy laws by sharing personal data of users with third parties, such as the now defunct British political consultancy, Cambridge Analytica, okay? Facebook has said <clears throat> its privacy practices are consistent with its disclosures and do not support any legal claims, okay? <clears throat> Ayan po ang nangyari. Ngayon naman po, pumunta naman po tayo sa more uh, technical things, all right? Okay, may nagtanong po, ano, we want to talk about proxy servers, okay? Now we're, <clears throat> we're, we're very, very technical today sa ating mga pag nang <clears throat> all right? Ayan po, okay? What are proxy servers and what do they do, okay? Okay, ito pong ating kaalaman today. What are proxy servers and what do they do? They're very important, mind you, <clears throat> Okay? So, <clears throat> excuse me, ako pa'y nasasabihin pa rin. Ha -ha. Pero, pero meron ako palang ano, gustong ibalita, no? Because we were talking about mamaya na mag-usapan na ba yung proxy servers? Anyway, so yeah, we're, we're going to talk about what are pro proxy servers and what do they do. Pero be, before ko yan sabihin, ito muna, meron akong uh, diba? iPhone has been lording the cell phone industry for many years now, right? Pero meron pong breakthrough sa phone. Sige, bukas ko na nga lang yan. <laughs> sige, sige. Yung sa proxy server. Yung okay, nag-text. Okay, okay, okay. What, uh, <clears throat> okay? What is the importance, okay, of proxy servers, right? Anong importansya niyan, alright? Okay, what are proxy servers and what do they do? Ala, ano nangyari? Oh my gosh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ano ba <clears throat> okay, what are proxy servers and what do they do? Okay, a proxy server po. Proxy servers po have become an integral part of the internet. Okay? <clears throat> Importante po. And there's a good chance that you have used one without even knowing it. Hindi man, hindi niya alam. Kasi nga, hindi niya alam ko ano. A proxy server po is a computer that acts as an intermediary between your computer at yung mga website na dinadalaw nyo. Okay? Alright? When you type in the address of a website, the proxy server re retrieves the page on your behalf and sends it back to you. Binabato sa inyo, okay? The, this process is known as proxying. Okay. <clears throat> Tingnan natin. Okay? Tingnan natin yung process, alright? Importante po ang proxy server, okay? Kung how you are, how do you surf the net, di ba? Ito po. <clears throat> Pakita natin yung the way it travels and the way it is used. Okay? <clears throat> Ang dali lang po. Hindi ko kasi siya na ano kanina eh. Ano ba yan? Kanta ng kanta. Pinapakanta ako nitong OBS ko ah. Okay, so there. What is a proxy server? Okay. 
what are proxy servers and what do they do? All right, ayan po ang ating uh, topic now. But let me show you the process, okay? Because I have it. Mm -hmm. Ano ba? Ayan, okay? What is a proxy server? <clears throat> All right, and what does it do? Ayan, takpan ko muna yung face ko para makita nyo. All right, there you go. Okay. Proxy servers can be used for a variety of reasons, such as to improve speed and performance, okay, to para filter yung content or to bypass restrictions. For example, proxy servers can be used to improve the speed of loading papers or loading pages by caching frequently accessed resources. This means, and I'm saying ito, this means that instead of having to retrieve the same data from the server every time you load a page, the proxy server can simply serve up the cached version. O nasa save po ito. Okay? Yan po yung, yung dati nyo nang pinuntahan ng mga website na, na, na sa save. Okay? Okay? So again, inulit ko, a proxy server is an intermediary separating end-user clients from the destinations that they browse. Okay? Diba? Proxy servers can also be used to filter content. Okay? This is often done in corporate and educational environments where certain websites are blocked. Diba? Nung mga, mga opisina po. Hindi, hindi po nyo pwedeng puntahan yung Facebook o ganyan. Diba? Uh, by using a proxy server, okay, users can access blocked websites by, rousing, uh, by routing their requests through the proxy server. The proxy server then retrieves, nire-retrieve niya yung requested page on behalf of the user and sends it back to them, okay? Proxy servers can also be used to bypass restrictions. Ano yun? Di parang pang panghahak na ba-bypass niya yung mga nilalagay na restriction. For example, some countries block access to certain websites by using a proxy server located in another country, okay? So, ba remote? Users can access these blocked websites. Ito ba kaya... So, bang, ano, pare, pareho ba ito ng VPN? Hindi natin alam. Tanongin natin kung iba, iba naman. Ibang, ibang usap pa yun tungkol sa VPN. We'll also discuss that, okay? Proxy servers are, are a valuable tool that can be used for a variety of purposes. If you're not sure whether or not you've used one before, there's a good chance that you have, okay? So, the next time you're loading a page or accessing a website, Isipin niyo po that there's a proxy server somewhere between you and the site you're trying to reach. Diba? So, it, it will help you to make your experience better. Yan po ang gamit ng proxy server. Okay? Alright. So, yun po. Tanggalin ko lang to. Harang sa atin. Okay? Yan po ang proxy server. Alright? O, ngayon naman, yung VPN naman. Tinatanong, diba? Ano, ano yung VPN? Okay? It has something to do with voice, di ba? Anyway, okay, VPN naman ngayon ang ating pag-usapan, right? From the proxy server, let's talk about virtual private networks. Ayan po. Sa China po nga, dahil pinagbawal po yung ESL learning or English learning, meron po ako mga students nakakalusot kasi ginagamit nila ay VPN. Ano naman ang VPN, okay? All right? Alright? Ano naman ang VPN? Okay? Medyo sobrang technical na ito. Meron pang diagram. Huwag ko nang ipakita dahil nakakahilo din natin maitimihan. Okay? Alright? <clears throat> from uh, from uh, proxy servers, we uh, are gonna talk about naman VPN. Ito, ito, ito sa mga nag-request ng topic na ito. Okay? Uh, Proxy server versus VPN. Okay? Well, unang-una, di ba? Uh, what, is a, what is a VPN? Di ba? Pin Pinag-usapan na natin kanina yung... Ah, yun pala. Yung pong proxy server, no? Uh, 
ang proxy server po, they both provide, ang, ang pareho po, ang proxy tsaka VPN, they both provide privacy, no? Pero po, what is a VPN? Okay? As opposed to, well, yung mismo mo ng VPN, ang ano natin, what is a, what is VPN, okay? Uh, there are three types, okay, but, uh, a VPN is an arrangement where, whereby a secure and apparently private network is achieved using encryption over a public network, typically the internet, okay? Uh, okay, simplify po natin yung ibig sabihin nun, all right? How it works, okay, okay? Uh, ang VPN po stands for Virtual Private Network, all right? Yan po yung ginagamit ngayon sa China ng mga sudyante ko kasi bawal na doon ang, ang, ang ASL online school, special learning English, no? So, it, uh, it, uh, it describes the opportunity to establish a protected network connection when using public networks, okay? VPNs encrypt your internet traffic and disguise your online identity, okay? This makes it more difficult for third parties to track your activities online and steal your data. Oh, maganda, di ba? Oh, maganda pa palang ang gamitin ay VPN eh, right? The encryption takes place in real time, okay? So, how does a VPN work? A VPN hides your IP address by letting the network redirect it through a specially configured remote server, okay? It's run by a VPN host. This means that if you surf online with a VPN, okay, the VPN server becomes the source of your data, right? This means your internet service provider or your ISP and other third parties cannot see which websites you visit or what data you send and receive online. Hindi magaling, di ba? Kasi nga yung mga hacker dyan nang gagaling sa online na kinukuha yung identity dahil na, pati IP address na kukuha. A v, bakit hindi, na, bakit hindi lahat VPN ginagamit kaya? A VPN works like a filter <clears throat> that turns all your data into gibberish. Okay? Even if someone were to get their hands on your data, wala silang, it will be useless to them. Si maganda, di ba? Ini-encrypt. What are the benefits? What are the benefits of a VPN connection? Okay? Uh, okay. Aha. <clears throat> ano naman natin to yan? Sandali lang, ha? What are the benefits of a VPN connection? Well, okay. The benefits of a VPN connection... Okay, the benefits of a VPN connection. A VPN connection <coughs> disguises your data traffic. So, hindi nila makikita kung ano yung pinantahan mo, saan ka nag, ano yung research mo, okay? It disguises your data traffic online and protects it from external access. Di magaling, unencrypted data can be viewed by anyone who has network access and wants to see it. With a VPN, hackers and cyber criminals can't decipher this data because it turns it into gibberish ka eh. Basura, gibberish or nonsense, okay? Kung ma-access nila, hindi nila mababasa kasi ini-encrypt ng VPN, Okay? Secure encryption. To read the data, you need an encryption key, okay? Without one, <clears throat> it would take millions of years for, computer, uh, for a computer to decipher the code in the event of a brute force. With the, uh, pagka kayo, no? With the help of a VPN, your online activities are hidden even on public networks. Ang galing, right? Okay? Disguising your whereabouts. Okay? VPN servers essentially act as your proxies on the internet. Because the demographic location data comes from a server in another country, your actual location cannot be determined, okay? In addition, most VPN services <clears throat> do not store logs of your activities, okay? Some providers, on the other hand, record your behavior but do not pass this information on to third parties. Bawal yon. This means that any potential record of your user behavior remains permanently hidden. Ang galing. Okay, ano pa to? You can have access to regional content. Regional with web content, okay, 
is not always accessible <clears throat> from everywhere. Okay, it's not accessible from everywhere. Services and websites often contain content that can only be accessed from certain parts of the world. Standard connections use local service in the country to determine your location. Kagaya sa, sa China, hindi kayo talaga makakapag-access ng anything, lalo na about America. No, no, no. Kaya nga ba, wala well, na Facebook, Google, anything, right? Standard connections use local servers in the country to determine your location. This means you cannot access content at home while traveling, and you cannot access international content from home. With VPN location spoofing and tawag, you can switch to a server to another country and effectively change your location, okay? It can secure your data transfer. If you are working remotely, you may need to access important files on your company's network. For security reasons, this kind of information requires a secure connection, all right? To gain access to the network, a VPN connection is often required. VPN serves servers, uh, VPN services connect to private servers and use encryption methods to reduce the risk of data leakage. Okay? So, dapat pala, VPN na lang lahat. So, why should you use a VPN connection? Bakit nyo kailangan gumamit na VPN, VPN connection? Your ISP usually sets up your connection when you connect to the internet. Internet service provider. Okay? ISP. It tracks you via an IP address, okay? Your network traffic is routed dumadaan po yan through your ISP servers, which can log and display everything you do online, okay? So, uh, your ISP may seem trustworthy, kala mo, no? But it may share your browsing information. Eh, di ba? Yan ang kinukuha ngayon ng mga, ng mga e-commerce companies or, or any company na nagbebenta at saka merong presence online, gusto nila yung history ng browsing ng mga customer para malaman nila yung, yung profiles, di ba? So, your ISP may share your browsing history with advertisers, the police, the police or even gobyerno, right? And or other third parties. I and ISPs can also fall victim to attacks by cyber criminals. If they are attacked, your personal and private data can be compromised. Nangyari na nga sa akin yan, di ba? Yung aking uh, ATM sa video na pa ulit-ulit na haha. Hindi ko alam kung through my IP address yan. Eh. Pero pag nag-iba na ako ng, ng internet, nag-iba na ako ng bahay, nahanap pa rin ako. So that's still a mystery to me and for me up to this very day. Okay? So this is, using VPN is especially important if you regularly connect to public Wi-Fi networks. You never know who might be monitoring your internet traffic and what they may steal from you, okay? Including passwords, personal data, payment information, or even your entire identity. Ay kayang nakawin, which it all happened na nga to me. Kasi 24-7 po kasi akong naka-online, tsaka pati pag lumabas ako, i-on ko pa yung data, I mean, really, I ano a moving target sa mga hackers. So, what should a good VPN do? Okay, ano po? You should rely on your VPN to perform more, one or more tasks. Okay? The VPN itself should also be protected against compromise. Uh, these are the features should, that you should expect from a comprehensive VPN solution. Okay? <clears throat> Okay. Hello, hello everybody. Welcome po to Buhay Online. I do not see your names. I see the number of people watching but I don't see your names. Magandang magandang mag sa inyong lahat. Opo. Patuloy po tayo itong sa ating pag-usap itong sa VPN. I think matutuloy ka pa bukas because uh, wala na tayong oras. Okay, so... Uh, so, uh, ano po yung mga features ng mag mag mahusay na VPN? Encryption of your IP address, okay? The primary job of a VPN is to hide your IP address from your ISP para huwag niya pong ma ma mapagamit sa third parties. This allows you to send and receive information online without the risk of anyone but you and the VPN provider seeing it. Okay? Ano pa? Encryption of protocols. Ano ibig sabihin? A VPN should also prevent you from leaving traces or yung mga footprints 
For example, sorry, ang katakit talaga. Ay! In the form of your internet history, okay? Search history and cookies. The encryption of cookies is especially important because it prevents third parties from gaining access <clears throat> to confidential information such as your personal data. Okay? Okay, ayan. Oh, man. Ano, ano daw yung cookies? Na-mention ko yung cookies. Hindi yan. Sa technology po, liba tsaka sa internet, makikita niya importante yung cookie. Okay? <laughs> Hindi siya. Hindi. Uh, what is a cookie? Okay? Sideline to that, no? What are cookies? HTTP cookies are essential to the modern internet but a vulner vulnerability to your privacy. As a necessary part of web browsing, HTTP cookies help web developers give you more personal, convenient website visits. Cookies let websites remember you, your website logins, and your shopping cart ano, use. Yan po ang cookies. So, dun po sa connection na yun, yung cookie. Okay? So, in, uh, yun nga, search history and cookies, yan po ang cookies. Ang, yung ginasabi ko, yung uh, behavior nyo ano yung mga ginawa nyo. The encryption of cookies is especially important, okay? Importante rin na ma-encrypt sila because it prevents third parties again from gaining access to confidential information such as personal data, financial information, or other content on websites o yung behavior ng buyer, okay? Ano pa? Kill switch. Anong kill switch? If your VPN connection is suddenly interrupted, okay? Your secure connection will also be interrupted. A good VPN can detect this sudden downtime and terminate pre-selected programs, reducing the likelihood <coughs> that your data is compromised. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Ito pa yung two-factor authentication, yung TFA na ginasabi. Di ba? Ito yung two-factor yung pag paglalagin mo, lalagay mo lang yung password mo. Nung araw, ganun lang. One time lang, password. Pero ngayon, yung two-factor authentication, meron pang second layer po ng security bago ka papasukin, right? <clears throat> if your VPN connection, <clears throat> excuse me, is suddenly interrupted, di ba? I mean, I mean you know, by, uh, di ba? Yun, uh, sorry. Uh, yung two-factor authentication, <clears throat> Yun na nga, kung na-interrupt ka, tapos kung kailangan mo mag-log in na ulit, parang two steps pa bago ka makapasok. By using a variety of authentication methods, a strong VPN checks everyone who tries to log in. Ayun po yun, okay? For example, you might be prompted to enter a password, after which a coach is sent to your mobile, yung mga OTP. This makes it difficult for uninvited third parties to access your secure connection. Yun po yun, yung nag-regenerate ng one-time password. Tapos, papadala nila yan either through your email <coughs> or through your cell phone <coughs> para i-double verify na ikaw nga yun, Okay? So, so we, we will continue to talk about VPNs and proxy servers po tomorrow kasi, ayan na nga, we've reached the end of our line for today. Uh, alam ko po, interesting topic to sa marami. Hello there, Joey Ortiz. Maulan talaga po. Ang lakas ng ulan dito sa Pampanga, Sir Joey. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the show and welcome everyone. So thank you so much po for the others that are join, jo joined me today na hindi ko makita ang pangalan. I acknowledge po you, you all. Salamat po for joining me today. And tomorrow po, pagbabalik tayo and we will continue to talk about the importance of proxy servers and VPNs po sa atin. Thank you, thank you so much for watching today. This is Jay Bautista for Boy Online. At the end of the day, three things should remain in our lives. And that is faith, hope, and love. Magsama-sama po tayo ulit bukas. Patuloy po natin pag-uusapan.